hey guys and i'm about to do a quick garden update it's been a while but let's see what's going on in my garden here are my brussels sprouts we don't have anything down here yet but um we're growing we are growing but you know what i am going to do thanks to a recommendation from my cousin turf i'm actually going to cook brussels sprout leaves here's my cabbage over here savoy look beautiful over here is my broccoli romanesco can't really say too much is happening over there um more brussels sprout but look look what's coming the brussels sprouts are starting to form so i am so excited this is my first time and look yep they're starting to form more cabbage brussels sprouts there's not a lot of going on with these smaller ones but they're starting to do something but i just wanted to give you this quick update because my brussels sprouts are starting to form yep and there you have it quick garden update and you can take a little sneak peek back there at my husband's garden well at least one of his gardens and you, you see the rest of them all this belongs to him bless it be the fruit you see that brussels sprout leaves or brussels sprout tops bless it be the fruit let's see what i come up with hey and welcome to another episode of cooking with dorsha today i have a special treat for you this is something new i have never made this before until yesterday when i did an experiment to make sure that what i share with you would be delicious and guess what it was so peekaboo anywho we are making brussels sprout tops or leaves yes brussels sprouts leaves that grow on the plant and I'm able to take these leaves off because this will promote the growth of my Brussels sprouts heads that you are used to seeing and properly eating. Now these do not taste like Brussels sprouts but they do have a nice taste to them. I'm trying to think of what they may taste like. Now you can eat them raw which I haven't tried yet but I'm giving you this recipe that I developed yesterday. So, before we get into this hashtag one dish that I will be sharing with you, if you have not, please subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, so that you will know when new content is uploaded. So, let's get right to it. Now, you can't just go into the grocery store and find these. Sorry. Grow you some Brussels sprouts, okay? <laughs> now, my heads are not ready yet. They are just now starting to form, so I am getting very hopeful. But all of the bottom leaves, I was able to take them off, okay? What you will need for this recipe, I'm gonna be using extra virgin olive oil. Walmart, holla at you, girl. I will also be using some mushrooms. Um, umami is the other taste that we taste um, when you know sweet bitter sour blah 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 mommy but anyway these are mushrooms though i'm gonna put these in there i'm also gonna be using some artichoke red onion some cloves of garlic and this right here if you don't do anything else right here this right here is called a griller and they normally come in bags and these are oak farm um, grillers so even the smell of them people i will be saving the seeds from, from this because i want to grow these oh my god i wish you could smell a vision <laughs> so i'm going to put all that together i am going to them, which you probably are probably able to eat this, but I didn't do that yesterday, so I'm going to share with you what I actually did. I'm going to de-stem them, but I'm not going to, I'm just 
gonna place the leaves together and then just chop them up. We're gonna stir fry it and it's gonna make it do what it do. I'm also making some chicken breast. So this is a part of my Sunday supper. But I'm not gonna give you all of that. Just hashtag one dish. So here we go. Okay, so while that is simmering, let's talk about our day today. We went to church and today was our church's 30th anniversary. Happy anniversary to my pastor, Bishop Delphi Brown, and our church family, World of Faith family. Mm, Austell, Georgia, right across from Six Flags. Okay, Fred Hammond came and blessed the house today. It was awesome. Check this out. Absolutely amazing. And then um, the guest.
guest pastor today was Pastor Wise E. Johnson, and he was dynamic, has a prophetic mantle upon his life. It was awesome, such a blessing. So, but um, yeah, just wanted to share that with you. And also, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas around the Simmons home. So, I will be sharing a Christmas um, video soon. Mm-hmm. Um, and also, in addition to that, I think my husband already shared like the Christmas tree, but he didn't share all the other stuff because he gave me a homework assignment. Go figure. Okay. Mm. Anyway, so let's check out our Brussels sprout tops for AKA leaves. of truth. I am finished the Brussels sprout tops aka leaves. You see that? Bam! Yes! And this is some chicken breast that I actually use Sage Marie's coffee rub. Delicious. But don't take my word for it. I have the man, the myth, the legend, the Sunday backyard farmer. Da -da -da -da. Da, 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 da. Okay, got me looking bad. Like, where is he? Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Ah! Uh, he's taller than me, so. Um. <laughs> okay, honey, here's your plate. And um, taste the Brussels sprout leaf. Okay, turkey. I get it. <laughs> I like it. It's light now. I'm not trying to take over your video. Well, I'm saying now when I when I get stuff like this, my brain go overboard. So now it's like you need double the Brussels sprouts because you need the Brussels sprouts, but then you need the plants that you're just gonna harvest the leaves off of. So that's why we need more space situations like this. So what does it taste like? Mm, that's a good question. I have no idea. I don't know because it's not it, really it, like a collard green. But when it's when I first spinach, taste it, it's like, it's like it put me in the mindset of collard greens. When I first like texture rather. Mm -hmm, texture. But it doesn't taste like collard greens. But the texture is like collard greens but it doesn't taste like collard greens. And matter of fact I haven't had collard greens cooked like this so that may be something new. So, yeah, but it's actually good. So I'm going to take my plate. In. No, now come back yeah. and taste the chicken that I use with Sage Marie's coffee rub that I won on a live. I just, I'm, I'm. It's good. I'm trying to think of what it tastes like, but it don't taste like nothing I've tasted before. Does it taste like coffee? A hint. It's not overbearing. It's so, like a hint. Hint of coffee. But see, I, I really want to sit down and eat now. But I know we got. I didn't even say my my grace. Okay, y'all. Y'all y'all close y'all head and bow. And close y'all head. I mean, close your eyes and bow your head. Go ahead, pray. Dear Lord, thank you for letting us receive this food for a nourishment of our body in Jesus' name. We pray, Amen. Amen. We ain't going to hell tonight. We ain't going to hell tonight. <laughs> so there you have it. And um, I can't say that he's the type of person that would eat anything because that is definitely not him. So you have it right there. The man of the house. Um, who is sort of a finicky eater. He likes the Brussels sprout um, leaves or tops. Now, the major drawback is you have to draw, you have to grow Brussels sprouts in order to get them. You don't just find them 
at your everyday grocery store. Now, I don't know if there's a farmer's market or somewhere that have it, but I've never even heard of it before, before my cousin Turf. So shout out to Tyre, Germany representing. Sorry. <laughs> know if you can grow Brussels sprouts. Yeah, I guess you can grow Brussels sprouts in Germany. <laughs> you know, I ain't got no blonde, but I'm saying that was a blonde moment. Oh, no offense to blonde. <laughs> so anyway, until next time, he is all up in my frame like I'm not recording. <laughs> until next time, hashtag one dish, hashtag cooking with Dorsha, and stay tuned for more content.